Have you ever had to create an online lecture? Just as classroom lectures are a primary tool in traditional education, online lectures are vital when it comes to e-learning. Utilizing digital recordings of lectures is a great way for educators to bring their classroom instruction online. Students are able to watch the lectures at any time, making their learning more convenient and accessible. But creating an effective online lecture can be challenging. Today, we've compiled a list of different tools and formats that you can use to get started in creating online lectures. I'm Raid here with Jotform. Let's jump right in. First, you have to choose your format. One option is creating a talking head video. This is a popular format in which an expert will lecture on a topic while looking into the camera. This is the most popular format because it's the easiest to create and it resembles an in-person lecture. But it can be challenging to follow a video consisting of just a talking head, which is why it's a good idea to include some visual elements in your presentation. The simplest way to do that is by having a physical whiteboard behind you in your video. Or you could also speak in front of a green screen and add your visuals digitally in post-production. You could also create a slideshow presentation. This is an easy way to integrate visuals into your lecture. If you are covering a topic that deals with a lot of specific information, such as dates, statistics, names, or technology, then a slideshow is a great option for you. You can even use common presentation software like PowerPoint or Google Slides to create it. However, a slideshow is not a lecture on its own. You'll have to add an audio recording with your commentary. This can be done via voiceover or by adding a small talking head video in the corner of your screen. And lastly, you can utilize screen sharing. This is ideal for subjects involving a step-by-step -step walkthrough or demonstration, such as math or programming problems. This can also be used for teaching graphic design, music production, or game development. In this format, you are able to record your screen as you demonstrate the process that you are teaching. Just keep in mind that you can't have any personal or irrelevant information on your screen while recording, as your viewers will be able to see it. Once you've decided on a format, you'll have to gather the tools for your lecture. First, you'll need a camera and a microphone. At the most basic level, you can create an online lecture using a laptop with a built-in webcam and microphone. However, your lecture will look and sound much better with an external camera and microphone. You also may not want to use a laptop webcam because you don't have any control over the placement of the camera. To resolve this, you can either mount an external webcam onto your computer, or you can use a DSLR camera on a tripod to record yourself. In terms of audio, investing in an external microphone will greatly improve your sound quality. Deciding on the right microphone can be overwhelming, but there's a wide range available on the market. When considering a microphone, there are two types that you need to be aware of, condenser and dynamic. When recording your lecture, you'll want to use a condenser mic as it can limit your background sounds. Or if you're going to stand or move around in your lecture, then investing in a clip-on microphone that you can attach to your shirt is probably your best option. But if you'll be sitting in one place, then consider a shotgun microphone. This will most likely give you the best sound quality as these specialize in picking up sound from one direction. You also need to make sure that you have the proper software. If you're going to be using a slideshow or sharing your screen for your lecture, then you'll have to use a screen capture software program such as Screencast-O-Matic, Camtasia, or ScreenFlow. With this software, you can share and record your screen while talking through a topic. There are also some free software options if you're on a tight budget, including EasyVid for Windows and Flashback Express. Microsoft PowerPoint also has a voiceover feature to record audio along with your presentation. If you're looking for a simpler alternative to screen share on topics such as math, you can use an interactive whiteboard app such as Show Me or Explain Everything. With these tools, you can write out your problems on your tablet while recording an audio narration. Now that you know what tools you'll be using, you can prepare to record. At this step, you'll have to create any slides or visuals that you'll need and write out a script or outline of what you want to talk about. If you'll be recording a talking head video, make sure that the space you are recording in is clean. You'll want to make eye contact with the camera at eye level and make sure that your face is well lit from the front. This can be done with a simple desk lamp. Minimize the amount of light coming from behind you or beneath you and experiment until you find the right balance. 
It's difficult to edit audio, so do your best to minimize any background noise. Turn off any appliances that produce ambient noise and close windows to prevent any noise coming in from outside. Before you start recording, take the time to do a test run and ensure that all equipment is working correctly. Make sure that the output from audio and video looks and sounds presentable. Now you're ready to record and upload. When you record your lecture, be sure to record all the way through in one take, and you can edit out any mistakes later. Once you're satisfied with the final product, you can upload your lecture into your learning management system or wherever you want it to be hosted online for your students to view. Let's review. Creating an online lecture can be done in four steps. First, decide on your format. Then, gather all of the tools you'll need to record. Next, prepare to record with a proper setup and necessary visuals. And last, record and upload your lecture. This process may be challenging at first, but the more you do it, the more you will improve over time. Thanks for watching today. I'm Raid here with Jotform. See ya.